Right then, hello and welcome to Bailey's. We are taking a look at the Trigger Cam 2.1. So we've had these um, around and in stock for a while now. I've ran one myself on my 6.5 Creedmoor and on my stalking rifle. Um, so I thought about time we actually do a little bit of a video uh, where we can include uh, some footage and whatnot. So this is the box as it comes, nice and clean. All the instructions, your liability disclaimers and all that fancy stuff's on the back. So we're just gonna open this up. There we go, sealed on both sides. Open that up. Now inside here, you've got a cleaning cloth as well as a tool that's got various flat ends as well as the Allen key fitting for the fixture for attaching it to your scope. Instructions. This includes everything, including um, how to turn it on, um, your Wi-Fi, what to find it, the password for the Wi-Fi, which is also in the book, and how to genuinely use it, make sure everything's nice and crisp and clear, uh, how to adjust your focus um, for the reticle and all the other gubbins. That's basically your Bible. Uh, in the box as it comes, as you can see, you've got a selection of shims all there, as well as one currently in there. You've got a charging and data cable there, which is a USB type C that's included. And when the device comes to you, it comes completely shrink wrapped like this. So for the aid of this video, we'll open this one up. Uh, one thing you will notice when you get one of these, it is a solid metal outer body on this so very nice and sturdy although it's metal it's done in a weighs 453 grams so it's not too bad and the other good thing about this body unit on this it's also ip64 rated for weather so you can leave this on um, whether it's peeing it down or not uh, the lenses in this as you can see through there there is no discolorization as you're looking through your scope so your image remains the same and they're multi-coated as well in there so it keeps it all nice and crisp and clear for what you're looking at through here um in the top where's this multi-tool gone there she is i'll show you this um the app for this you can get on both android and iOS so you're not restricted in that front on the top here you've got these two little covers the big one if you pop that off I'll unscrew that now that's what these flaps are for on the tool inside there you can see you've got your micro SD HDMI and your USB B type C for charging the unit and then underneath the little one let's open this one up they are nicely fitted these to be fair so open this little one up make sure not to lose them they are a bit fiddly you've got the adjusting wheel which this little peg on the bottom of here basically you put into there and you scroll that wheel until the reticle on your footage is nice and crisp and clear so that's how that works so the micro SDs in this, you can uh, they come with one, I think it's a 32 gig it comes with, but you can put up to a 128 gigabyte card in here uh, as long as it's a U3, which is a high speed micro SD. Uh, video resolutions, uh, for slow-mo you can do 1080p at 100 to 120 frames per second and you can do 720p at 200 to 240 frames per second uh, all your normal recording resolutions on this are your 4k at 30 frames per second 1080p at 30 up to 120 and so on and so forth there's a lot of different recording options uh, but that also varies on the amount of light that you've got uh, as you can see there is also a shim inside here um, so in total you've got eight shims more than enough uh, this will fit anything from a 32 to a 48 millimeter scope so you're not limited on what this can go on the back of it's uh, nice and simple um, it's got a quick record function on here when you turn this unit on first off you can set it so that when you turn this unit on it instantly starts recording uh, that's in the settings if not uh, that orange thing is it searching for Wi-Fi if not you press the record button and the blue light will start flashing which means it's recording press that button again it stops recording 
So we've gone through all the specs on the device. This is it fitted on a scope. I've put this on a Hawk Frontier. But as you can see, nice and simple, but right up against the scope. You tighten the Allen key down on the side and it's just really, really, really simple. So when you come to connect this to your phone, first thing you're gonna do is download the Triggercam 2.1 app. I think you can just about see it there. Um, and then you're gonna go onto your settings for your Wi-Fi and turn the scope on. Press and hold for a few seconds, you'll get an audible beep and the scope has come on and a little blue light has appeared. As that comes on, if we're looking at this list on the Wi-Fi, you can see Triggercam 2.1 has, let's bring that in, Triggercam 2.1 has come up, you'd click on that, join it and put the password in which is 12345678900 and that's it. So once you're connected, you can go onto the app and I need to connect to it. So we'll go back onto there, onto settings, trigger cam 2.1. So I've now connected onto there, go onto my app. And as you can see on the screen, it says trigger cam, that's being the camera source. Press that and lo and behold, there's the reticle there. You're gonna get some audio feedback because it's picking up the audio on that. But it's that simple. So, as you can see, I'm moving that round, and you can see what I can see on the screen through the scope. So it's really that easy. Um, as I already turned around and said, start recording, you simply press the record button, blue light will start flashing when you're finished, press that and it'll stop. Right then, we've gone through all the specs on the Triggercam 2.1 in the shop. Uh, time to put money where my mouth is. Um, I've got the trigger cam on this uh, Hawk Frontier. Uh, I've zeroed at 100 yards. We're going for the 200 yard gong, so I've dialed 0.3 for there. The parallax is set at 200. So we're just going to give it a go. So what I'll do, uh, I'm going to press record on this. This is one of the new long range cams that we're looking at. So I'll record that footage and also We'll press record on here as well, so you'll be able to see what I see through the scope um, when we're taking these shots. So I'm going to get nice and comfortable and go in for the bacteria gong with the white paddles. And we're just going to aim smack down dead centre of the top of the gong as you can see, and uh, we'll see what happens. Getting comfortable, rifle pointing actually at the target. That is pretty much where it goes. Possibly need to come up one more click. We'll do that again. Smack bang dead centre. Wind's carried that across to the left just a touch, but it's up there where we wanted it, which is nice. And then we'll put one on the fox head is here. That did the job we wanted there as well. So that is Bob on. If I zoom out on this footage, there you go, that's nice. So I'll stop recording. So overall you can see it works. I'm getting no point of impact shift from having this on the back. It's a waterproof unit. Um, it should be absolutely bob on, especially for the guys that wanted to go out, record a bit of footage, competitions, long range shooting, long range rimfire. Even if you want to go out and stick it on the back of your scope while you're out stalking, just to capture the footage for yourself. Um, highly recommended. We've got these available at babyshooting.co.uk. Um, if you want a local shop near you, you can go onto the Highland Outdoors website and there's a list of them there, and then you can uh, find out who your nearest stockist is. But we've got these in stock on the shelf, so yeah just give us a shout. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Cheers.